Hi Foxy friends, it's Sarah here from Foxy's Domestic Side and today I'm going to show you how I do my everyday makeup. Now when I say everyday I mean on the weekends and not going out when I'm just kind of getting ready for the day. I don't typically wear makeup, a lot of makeup to work because I do wake up at 4.30 in the morning and who wants to put makeup on at 4.30? So I'm going to show you how I get ready on a normal Saturday morning before I get the kids up or get going for the day. So I like to start with some chapstick. This is my favorite chapstick. Um, so I try and remember to put this on first thing. So I hit this on. I try to make this as quick as possible, so I try and multitask. If I know I'm going to be in the sun, then I will use some SPF in my BB cream. I just started using BB cream, and I really like it so far. It seems to be working out really well. This is the one I found that I really like. Dab it on my finger here. Kind of even out my tone and give me some sunscreen. Okay, now that that's on, I typically use a concealer. It's probably not the right way to do it, but I do it anyways. I use this Marc Jacob one. I've been using this for a while now, so um, it's the one that I really like. So this one I've been using probably for the last year. And then I follow it up with some Makeup Forever powder. This is the one I use. In shade 163. After that I work on my eyes. I use the MAC Painterly Pot for my eyeshadow primer. I just kind of put this all over my lid. So when I'm not going out, I typically just do super easy one eyeshadow, maybe two, um, to blend in the eyeshadows and I'm done. So this is exactly what I do. I like using this chocolate bar. It's my favorite eyeshadow right now. And I use the hot chocolate right here. It really does smell like chocolate. I do this super quick because I usually don't have a lot of time. I've usually come from the gym or running outside so I don't have a lot of time when I get in because I like to sleep as much as I can. So I will do this really quick. I just do one eyeshadow right here that's kind of on the dark side. I follow it up with a blending brush. This one is the NYX blending brush. And then I will use the hazelnut right here. So I take this and then I just kind of blend this other color that I just, the hot chocolate. Super easy, really quick. Sometimes I'll go back if I think I've kind of rubbed off too much. I'm gonna go back with the hot chocolate. All right. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's pretty much what it looks like. So now this is when I start multitasking because I have a limited amount of time and I have to multitask. What I'll do is I will do my eyeliner. Because my eyes are hooded, the eyeliner always comes off because my eye kind of folds over my eyelashes. So I have to kind of go really heavy and dark in order to even see it at all. So I used to just do this Urban Decay 24-7 pencil. I use this plus the Stila pen, literally just to get a good base for my eyeliner. Watch when I open my eyes, you won't even be able to see this. See? So then I go in with a fine tip like this and I kind of clean up the edges. So today I'm going to do a winged liner, just like that. forgot to say that I do have to use a bottom eyeshadow or else anything that I put on my bottom lashes will just run down my face. So for whatever reason, putting this eyeliner right here really helps. So sometimes I'll use brown down here and sometimes I'll use black. Today I'm going to use black. So I will go through first with the fine tip. And then I will do my waterline with the Urban Decay. All right, get it close up. So now that I've done, done that, now I start, this is when I start multitasking. I typically, as you can see, 
Maybe can't. Let me zoom in for you. You can't see any eyelashes, can you? But they're there, barely. I have to use fake eyelashes. I like these Ardell 120s. I've been using these for a year now, maybe over a year. This is, these are the ones I really like. I have already cut these down for the sake of the video. I'll take it. I really like this Revlon Precision Clear. It is latex free, so this works for me. I am have the aller or sensitivity to latex. So if you haven't done this before, this is how you do this. Let's see if we can get this. Focus. Well, comment down below if you want me to do an eyelash video, but it's not focusing, so I'll have to figure something else out for that. Okay, so right now I have just I have just applied the eyelash glue like this. So now I'm gonna be holding it in this hand and then I will do my eyebrows while this is drying. Because this takes probably like a minute to kind of set the glue before you can actually put it on your face. So I will, while I'm waiting for that to set, I typically like to do something else because I'm always running short on time. So I do my eye eyebrows. So I just quickly fill them in. I don't really like heavy eyebrows, so I don't do it like how you see some people. I just kind of fill it in because I do have thin eyebrows. So I basically color them in how I want them to be shaped. Right now this looks really harsh, but just hold on with me. Then I use the other side. I brush it out and it kind of just, oops. Brush it out and it looks much better. All right, now the glue is almost dry. I will see if I can get up close for you guys. Don't look at my eyebrows, they are bushy right now. Place them on there. Tap it on. There you go. All right. Now, I am going to do the other side. See, look at the difference between this side and this side. I think it makes a huge difference when I wear eyelashes. Even though when I put them on, it just makes me look like I have normal eyelashes. Now, I will do the same thing with the Eyler eyelash putting some glue on. All right, now, while I'm waiting for this one to dry, I will do my blush. I use the Physician's Formula Happy Natural. I really like this color and it seems to be working for me. Sometimes it's not that dark, but and I have to use a lot, but it's okay. Uh-oh. I will use a little bronzer and I use the MAC, sorry how dirty it is. I use the MAC bronzer in Give Me Sun. So I just kind of make a little three on my face with it. Pillows on my cheek, down and down my. All right, so now glue is almost dry. this side on. Let's zoom in for you. All right, so you see how you can't really see that? How look, side profile, you can kind of see it, but so because I have that hooded eye thing and mine really hooded, um, the skin kind of folds over my eyelashes, so now I have to curl that up and over. So I'm gonna do that right after I do my lip products because you like to make the, you, I like to have the glue dry because if you do it too soon, then the glue sticks to the eyelash curler and then the eyelash falls off. We don't want that, so we're gonna, gonna move on to something else. So 
Um, I don't know if you heard much about it, but the Kylie Jenner lip kits, we, I got one of those uh, a couple weeks ago. My friends and I then wanted to try out the ColourPop because everyone was saying that it was kind of a dupe of the Kylie lip kit. So I'm going to try that for you right now. This is what it looks like. And I got it in color, well I got several colors, but the color that I'm going to use today is Honey Bee. So I have not opened this yet. I have no idea what this looks like. Alright. This is what it looks like. It's a bright pink color. So let's try this. I did not get a lip liner with this, so we'll see how this comes out. Let's get a mirror here. Oh, it's really creamy. I should have probably got a lip liner to go with this. That was my mom. Okay, so this is what my lips look like. I think that they turned out really good. I really like it. It's, I actually thought it was a matte, but it's not, it's a gloss. And I actually kind of like it. I don't have many glosses because the Kylie lip kits that I got were um, mattes. So actually they're right here. These are the two colors I got. I got Posy and I got Coco K. So these are the two colors that I got. So those are the two colors that I got. And I like the Posy and I'm so, so on the Coco K. I think it's a little bit too light pink for my skin tone, but you know, whatever. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes to kind of combine my original eyelashes and the fake ones and to kind of point the eyelashes up so that they're not pointing straight down and you can actually see them. See, look how the difference one this side's pointing down, this one's pointing up, and it just looks so much better, don't you think? All right, I'll do it to the other side. This has taken me a long time to learn how to do so quickly. Trust me, this just takes practice. I know a lot of people are afraid of the eyelash curler. This is Shinsado, I think that's how you say it, Shinsado, and I got it at Nordstrom. And this works best, I think, for my eye shape. I think that's just it's one that I found that works the best. The ones at the drugstore are typically shaped for not eye, Asian eyes, so this one works best for me. And I think I'm done. Yeah, I think this is it. So this is my makeup routine on the weekends. I hope you like it and if you have any comments down below, your favorite products, your favorite eyelashes, I did buy a new pair of eyelashes. Let me see if I can find them. Oh. I did find a new pair of eyelashes. They are from this Asian company that I found on Amazon. I haven't tried them yet, but I will try them. Maybe I should have tried them for this video. Oh well, next time. This is my simple makeup look. It takes me 10 to 15 minutes to do this. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions or want to know anything else, please let me know down below. And if you want me to do a video on how I learned how to do my eyelashes, to put on fake eyelashes, like this video and I will try and see if I can put that together for you for next time. Thanks so much and I'll see you later. Bye. I use this makeup upside down? No, it's not. Got Posey and Coco K.